devastating floods in Western Europe and China, heat waves, wildfires and drought in North America and parts of Eurasia are some of the most recent examples of extreme weather events linked to climate change to an extent. At the heart of climate change is the increasing global average temperatures due to rising greenhouse gases produced by human activity, primarily due to the combustion of fossil fuels. For the first time in history, human civilization is living under an atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration of over 410 parts per million. Climate change is already affecting millions of people. More than half of the global population lives in urban areas, which are at the heart of industrial activity. Hence, cities are responsible for 70% of greenhouse gas emissions globally. Hi, my name is Ankur Shah and welcome to my YouTube channel. I make videos on environmental and cultural issues with a focus on how we can leave the world better than we found it. A study by Wei et al. compared greenhouse gas emissions reported by 167 cities in 53 countries. It was found that just 25 big cities, almost all of them in China, accounted for more than 50% of the greenhouse gases pumped out by the sample of cities. An important finding was that stationary energy is one of the largest contributors to greenhouse gas emissions in cities. This includes emissions from the fuel combustion and electricity use in buildings which are residential, commercial, and industrial. And more than 80% of the cities had stationary emissions that represented over 50% of total emissions. The positive news is that most of the cities surveyed can achieve significant greenhouse gas reduction progress if the stationary energy emissions were controlled. In China, the cities with higher per capita or per person emissions are generally major manufacturing hubs. If you look around, our phones, TVs, electronics, laptops, even clothes, most of it is made in China or other developing countries. Modern life in the Western industrial world depends on the manufacturing going on in developing countries. In the very near future, China, followed by India and then Africa are going to be leading the way in emissions increase. The per capita rates of consumption are higher in developed countries, but the emissions are increasing in the developing world. Approximately 63% of current emissions are from the developing nations due to their economic growth. They are following the same model of economic growth as the US, UK and other developed nations. The emissions have simply shifted from developed to developing nations due to a globalized economy with long and complex supply chains. This is quite a complex issue since people living in developing countries want to have more luxuries, increased quality of life, and energy comfort which most of the Western world takes for granted. The rise in quality of life comes with the increased usage of fossil fuels at the moment. The good news is that most of the emissions are localized to cities, so if we can pinpoint the sources and the sinks of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, measure these emissions, then we can make progress towards reducing them. A lot more on the emissions measurement and reduction techniques will be explained in the upcoming videos. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more videos on environmental topics. Thank you so much for watching.